I think I've drawn for the most part of my life, you know, like, yeah. I, I feel like from when I was five, even, bro, I would just be drawing. And my mom really would like, be like, oh, do your thing, <laughs> you know, and, you know, so, you know, you go through school and everyone has their party trick in, in junior school, right? So like some people would bring some fancy uh, pencil cases, yeah. Owens would have like, you know, different games and all. Uh, some ones would read books, like complete a whole Harry Potter in like a week and you're like, what the? I think that was Yeah, amazing. and then like me, I would, I would just draw, bro. Like, um, I was actually known for that every, I feel like everywhere I was, I was known for, known for drawing. For drawing. Yeah, for like, from like junior school, all through high school. Um, yeah. That was yeah. just, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. People just see me, all right, cool. This one is a funny one. But when it but comes when it to the comes pencil to and shit, <laughs> nah, like, this one is bad, <laughs> you know. Also, like, so, you know, I, I didn't go, I didn't do, like, art in high school, right, for, like, subjects, like, all level and stuff. Uh, funny, I ended up writing sciences, just sciences, for my O levels and my A levels. Yeah. But, you know, like, art was one of those things where, like, I, I could tell that I was really artistic each time I would feel... You know deprived of it yeah. you know so like when i was made to drop art in form three because my accounting and my business studies uh, grades weren't as good right and i was made to drop that so that i can focus on that what's funny is i actually ended up dropping the accounts and the business studies <laughs> you know go back to the, no i didn't even do art like i just wrote, just, yeah 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 you just I, didn't have I like what like the aptitude for that nah fair <laughs> enough man I read somewhere that you were supposed to go study engineering. Yeah. But that changed and then you decided on art instead. What was happening there? Eesh. So a lot of things just happened weirdly around that time. So my dad wanted me to do civil engineering, yeah. which I mean, yeah, I could have handled it, but I would have really struggled to actually like go through it. Right, and actually civil engineering would have been better than structural engineering yeah. and electrical engineering. Why? Like, I mean, I'm good with numbers, right? Like, um, mathematically speaking, like, yeah. Yeah, I'm actually quite the... But like, yeah. you know, when it gets complicated, like, you know, I don't know. I don't know. It just, yeah. Oh, yeah, I was just like, nah. <laughs> nah. is it, is it and it wasn't was like it wasn't something I was now passionate about, right? Yeah. Because when I was applying for actual, for actual uni on my own terms, I was applying for architecture, which for me was would have been the perfect, bro. Yeah. Like, I started drawing cabins at like law six, like proper proper like planning and you know doing. So it would have made sense yeah, to, like, to actually like because like would have had like the passion to see it through. Is that like yeah? Because okay? like. I, I'm, it's not like I'm complaining about the combination I did yeah. in high school, right? Like in my A-levels, which I did was math, physics, and geo, right? Yeah. And I f did fairly good on my math and my physics. And geo is, yeah, because I don't like reading. <laughs> not at all, right? So, and, you know, with math, right, it kind of triggers creativity. On a psyche level, I don't know how that works. I'm sure there are uh, neurologists that actually study how yeah, math how and works, art yeah. are actually related maybe it's because of like you know proportions and you know playing with balance blah 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 right yeah but for me maths and physics would have made sense because i could be study architecture like right after right i was like well you know what just to be uh, to be me i want to do art art so I, I then went with ziva and then they went me through their graphic design course and i just took like two terms yeah. Those two terms, bro, I learned so much. You know, Ziva, was this um, Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe Institute, Institute of Digital Arts? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Right, so like me going with my passions, right? That, that also was kind of triggered by the fact that my dad was like, you know, he was good in like engineering, man. Like this Owen did the most by the age, by the time he's my age. Yeah. This Owen had done the most. I'm like, well, you know what? You're mom. <laughs> but him following passion, like his farming passion, then I'm like, yeah, you know what? This is something I would actually inherit from him. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that. Yeah. Like, yeah. so essentially what you're saying is like he, 
him leaving like engineering to actually go and yeah. do that was him following his passion. His passion, right? right? So, so was that in so juxtaposing that is yeah. me choosing me art in, and architecture or whatever yeah. instead of like me doing engineering. Yeah. Basically yeah. that. Yeah. 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 And and he was with it? If uh, yeah, he's 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 really seeing it like damn, it's coming this, it's coming like full yeah. circle now. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Zila. Yeah. And then cut. Uh, Chino University of Technology, yeah. uh, fine art. Um, you're currently studying that. I think you're on the like uh, tail end of that, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. My question would then be because you've had like these two experiences in like formal institutions, right? Um, what do you think formal education gives artists that they might not get if they take like uh, a self-taught path? All right. So I will split the two, right? Yeah. Fair. All right, so from zero, I really learned to appreciate, like, you know, aesthetic value, right? Like, things that don't have to be nice. This man, Saki Mofundigo, who was a principal, was like, nothing should be nice. It's something have to, it has to make sense, but beautifully, you know, type of thing like that. Um, so from there, I was taught, you know, how to make things that communicate something. But like in a pretty way, like you know. Yeah. So that's the like the technical side of art. Like I, that's where I learned like, you know, how to actually appreciate things as they are because that's where I actually picked up photography at Zero through Calvin Dondo. Shout out. Love that. Ah, <laughs> that man. So he's got a book out called Hordi Zimbabwe. It's like street photography. So if you've yeah. noticed, I've actually I I do portraiture street documentary yeah. uh conceptual stuff right so like the conceptual stuff that's mostly inspired by the fact that he would show us books by like other photographers from you know like old mali and then new new owns and then yeah. you know so he'd show us books from like photographers from outside like zim and from there he was he would help us like appreciate like composition lighting and you know colors and you yeah. know so now that was one thing and then you come with the graphic designer teacher who's telling you that things have to be balanced you know and so now you take so now i'll say my first you know introduction to art you know outside you know just drawing outside was, you just yeah. yeah was that photography right and with that i was able to like create a decent portfolio at a young age which actually still shocks me now, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm just yeah. like, what was actually going on? Because that that time I was really experimenting with like, am I trying to be a fashion photographer? And then I would look up people like Albert Watson, Malik um, then the Say Educator, right? These are like old folk. Yeah. And then you're looking at like, Annie, okay, Annie Libre is still old, but like she's still like working, working. Um, then when I could say King, and then Around that time, that's when I started linking with the Nakas, and then at that time, Tamari Kudita was doing something in Cape Town, and I was like, "What? This is more?" Because I was actually interested in like film. Yeah. Then I was like, oh, "Okay, this 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 is something dope, right?" And then I see that it's a hand doing. I'm like, "Oh shit, this is actually really dope." Yeah. This is that, and then there's also um, this one dude, uh, Steven Jikosi. So around that time, I was just seeing like, okay, so there's portraiture by these people, and then there's like street from these people, and then, you know, just taking so, yeah, so just in. taking so much in, because like with Kelvin Dondo from that school, and even like, um, um, I'm forgetting my other lecturer's name. Oh, it'll come, Colin, Colin Beda. Yeah. yeah, he would really encourage us to like just read, <laughs> you know, not only read but like just eat up like you know art and design and. You know, have fun with it. So you do it in such a way that you would have fun with it. Like both of them, they would have, do it in such a way you would have fun with it, and you know, you you would be encouraged to experiment. Yeah. Right. So that's zero, right? And then now cut, um, cut. I would say they really taught me like the theoretical side of you know art. You know, because like um, I feel like my favorite part of university was learning like the actual art history and theory yeah like partying aside uh <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. partying aside socializing aside i would actually say the best times in uni 
for me was like when I was learning aesthetics. Uh, this course called aesthetics. This course called Zimbabwean, uh, Zimbabwean and contemporary art. Yeah. Whoa, bro! Like I learned so much, and you know, it it kind of helps you think of art differently. Like yeah. you know, you can present art <laughs> in so many different ways. The based off of like the message you put behind it. So now you put, you take like. Um, I would say my technical know-how from like Zero. Then you come in with these ones that are telling you that oh, alright, cool. There's an old who presented um, a pile like like a, I would say like a shrine, but it's not a yeah. shrine. But like for me, I would say it's a shrine because like it's, uh, it's it, it now knowing what about what it is. I'm like yeah, this is this is it. It's called Together Mufu, right? Yeah. It's um, by I don't know why I keep forgetting names. But it will come. Just yeah, chazunguza. Yeah. It's called chazunguza. Yeah. So now you're looking at art as in, I could put a nail there, and actually it could be present. It could represent probably um, being unnoticed, and people think that you're just there. And you know, you can actually base off, you know, the whole social construct just by putting a nail yeah. on the floor, yeah. and then it means something yeah. by itself. And then you know how. You can look at art differently. Like you can see a gun. I could see a gun, but you know, if I'm from okay. SA, I'm probably thinking gangs. If you're from Afghan, you're probably thinking terrorist wars. And then if you're from America, you're probably thinking like uh, self-defense, self-defense. Okay. You know. Fair enough. Yeah. So yeah. like, yeah. cut kind of helps me help me like discover that, right? And then from there, that's when I would start to like really think up some concepts that. I would say are beyond me, right? So now how that helps, well, that's how like schooling helps me, right? Yeah. Yeah. Some people would take it different, right? Because sometimes school can like actually hinder you from exploring your creativity yeah. because you could be taught something, you become so technical, you just get stuck on the like technical. You always stick to that. You, yeah, form. yeah, right. But how it helped me is I I was open-minded about it, and I was interested about it, like really much so. So that I would say that helped yeah. me actually like become an artist in that regard. But yeah, I mean, just like everything, people react to it different. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. always, yeah. always. And so.